Riverfront history Wandsworth continues upstream from Battersea, looking at what was there before the luxury flats. Like Battersea, much of Wandsworth was fields and market gardens, but it was the River Wandle that made Wandsworth different. Not only does it take its name from the Wandle, but Wandsworth itself began as a crossing point over the Wandle. This was for horse-drawn coaches travelling between central London and the west of England. There has been a bridge over the Wandle at the High Street since 1602. Like Battersea, Wandsworth has a historic shield which was found in the river about 1849. It is not a full shield but just a shield boss, similar to that on the Battersea shield. The River Wandle rises at Carsholton Ponds, but unlike other Thames tributaries such as the Falcon, the Wandle flows mostly above ground. It is swift flowing but shallow, ideal for driving water wheels. These made Wandsworth into an industrialised suburb. The Wandle had about 100 water mills. They ground corn, flour and even tobacco. They also powered maltings, distilleries and textile related factories. These produced dyes, cloth and fabrics for famous concerns including Liberties and William Morris. Four mills still have their water wheels, including the stuff mill at Morden Hall Park. During the 17th and 18th century, the cloth mills attracted French Protestant refugees, known as Huguenots. They developed a hat industry for which Wandsworth became famous. They used a felting process which involved mercury, a poisonous substance that could induce a shaking condition known as Mad Hatter's disease. The old burial ground at Mount Nod contains a number of listed tombs and a memorial to the Huguenots. The first Wandsworth Bridge was a toll bridge built in 1873. The present bridge was completed in 1940 during the Second World War. Its blue colour scheme was a form of camouflage. At the time of recording it is closed for repair. The first mention of the ship pub came in 1662. There are fine examples of early Georgian houses on Wandsworth Plain near the junction of the Wandle and the Thames. Other examples of 18th century building include a pair of early Georgian cottages and the Leather Bottle Pub. A 1786 map reveals a pickpocket lane near the river. In 1912 the Borough News regretted that Slough Lane and Pickpocket Lane were but a memory. The same account recalled Wandsworth had once been fields of weaving corn, undulating pasture lands and orchards. An early railway came in 1803. The Surrey Iron Railway was conceived before the development of steam locomotives. It was a horse-drawn goods service which ran for nine miles from Croydon to Wandsworth. Technically it was what is known as a plateway. This meant the wheels went outside the rails. It carried goods such as coal on rails with a non-standard 4 foot 2 inch gauge. It was a financial failure due to competition from the Croydon Canal and the newer mainline railways. It closed in 1846. In 1834 the Wandsworth Gas Works were built near Wandsworth Bridge. By the 1850s it had started to supply Wandsworth, Putney and Battersea as the Wandsworth and Putney Gaslight and Coke Company. Wandsworth Town Station opened in 1846 as Wandsworth. It was renamed in 1903. It was on the London and South Western Railway. The Wandle flows into the Thames after crossing under the High Street where there had been a bridge since 1602. Breweries had used the waters of the Wandle since the 1500s. Young's took over in 1831. They were famous for their horse-drawn drays until their brewery closed in 2006. The site of the brewery has become the Ram Quarter development. An 1891 map shows sawing and planing mills on the site of the Smuggler's Way recycling plant. An 1862 map shows gasworks and flour mills perched over a number of creeks and spits of land at the mouth of the Wandle. 
One of them, Bell Creek, still has an actual bell which rings powered by the rising and falling tide. Horse-drawn, open-top trams began running along York Road in 1882. Electric trams replaced them from 1906 until 1950. Riverfront history will continue with Riverfront history Putney 